Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I've been playing a lot of 2XKO, and I figured I would go over, like, Vi, since she's my main character, and give, like, a rundown of how to play her for, like, the newer players and shit. So, I guess to start off, we're just gonna go over her buttons and stuff to use a neutral. So, I mean, obviously, the lights are your quick buttons. This is a really good check for people who like to retreat and guard, go into the lows. Um, but in neutral, you aren't really gonna use these. These are just gonna be punishes or for mix-ups with the lows. With the mediums, uh... Definitely like dash up medium is a very good option. She's pretty fast, so she can just kind of get away with that. Especially if you cover it with an assist, you can run at him. Uh, crouching medium, I'm only, I mainly just use it to catch like retreating guards and things like that. And then heavy, I don't really use heavy and neutral unless it's a max range punish kind of thing. And then obviously crouch heavy would be your anti-air. Uh, be careful because it's surprisingly small and they can jump over you pretty easily. Doesn't seem to autocorrect. And then you have her uh, 2H in the air, which allows you to basically have another jump. You can do like a move out of it. Um, by itself, not the best. You can bait out um, you can bait out like anti-airs with it pretty well, and then catch them with the cross-up heavy a lot of the time. But with an assist, like behind it, it's pretty strong. So that is definitely something to use sometimes. It's definitely a good mix-up in neutral too, because it'll catch people off guard. And you can block after it. After doing this, you can just block. So you throw the assist, they go to anti, you they get caught, and then you combo out of it, you know. Um, and then you have your S1. This is a very solid move, very quick, uh, especially covered with an assist. You can combo out of it. Um, and then if it gets blocked, you could also just tag out. So it's pretty solid. And then your crouching S1 is your parry. Um, it's not a true wake up option. Like if they meet you, you're going to lose. But it is really good to uh, like throw in between block strings and things like that. Make sure they are like aware of it, because it, you it, like people will just mash on you. You you can just shut it down with that, and then you can even get a combo out of it. You can just go into your super, or if you're in the corner, combo out of it. But we'll get into that later. So last thing I haven't talked about is her sway, her forward and back S1. You can do light, medium, or heavy out of it. Uh, they all have different uses. Most of the time, you aren't really going to use medium or heavy unless the light already connects, though. So, you can do forward or back into any of these. You can do forward S1 into forward S1, and it'll actually cross up, and you can use it for mix ups, things like this. Uh, and then you also can charge the moves out of it if you hold the button down like this. So, you can do like regular into charge, you can do charge into charge, you can do a move that's charged into another like forward dash out of it like with the s1 and this is going to be really useful for combos and it will actually allow for some mix-ups as well maybe keep yourself safe on certain things uh and avoiding getting parried if people match parry because a lot of times if you do this people are going to parry the last hit you can stall it by charging it and get a full combo if they miss the parry <clears throat> but yeah the majority of the uses for this right here is just going to be for mix-ups it can go through projectiles but I tend to find that I don't use it that much for that. So now I'm going to go over combos. These are going to vary pretty heavily depending on your comp, but I'm just going to give you all some basic combos to kind of start you off. And then I'll show you, I guess, some of what I do with Alawi. So like a very beginner, I guess not super beginner, but a basic BMB that'll work anywhere on the screen, do decent damage, can go into super, all that. It's just this. Oops. <laughs> it's just this. And of course, you can go into super here if you want. Uh, if you have double down, you can go into super off of that too. But that's it's not the hardest. It's one of her easier combos, in my opinion, for decent damage. Um, you will have to learn the timing on the electrics. But it's really not that bad once you practice it for a bit. <clears throat> so that's a very basic combo. And you have other options, of course. That's just like an easy combo that works everywhere. Solo character. That's like the starting thing I would learn. So if you are looking for like easier routing, you're struggling with the electrics, you can do easier combos that route with things like this instead. Um, I just prefer the electrics. I think they're better for the combos I do with the Lowey. And um, I don't know, I prefer the combos overall. I think they do more damage, things like that. So one of the combos I like to do with like Bai and a Lowey in the corner only, of course, for this one is something like this. This one's a little bit harder, 
Um, it lets you set up some pretty cool shit though, so... I actually don't know if that works in Teemo. <laughs> He's small as hell. But uh, basically you can hit her, her S2 three times during that and set up a shit ton of tentacles in the corner off of that. So I think it's pretty good. Uh, it gives you like a really good setup. And it actually offsets the timing of some of them, so the tentacles don't all hit at the same time and you can apply like more pressure. Uh, you can also go into the damage route, of course, it does a shit ton of damage as it is already. But that's like a like a corner combo I would have with her. Mid-screen you have like routes as well with her, like you hit this in neutral with the assist, you can go into like the basic combo to keep it simple. That's decent damage. Um, you can up the damage by doing this, get you a little bit more, and it's pretty easy. Uh, also, if you like drop the combo and you miss the electric right here, you can still get a combo out of this. It's not going to be as much damage, but you can just do this. Which is her down S2 into super. And then like I right here would probably set up the install with a Lowey. Depending on your character, you might be able to do something else. Um, if you want like character specific combos, just go on Twitter. There's like all kinds of them. Just use the hashtag with your character and you'll find a shit ton. Um, her assist is also really good for combos, I'll show you that in a sec. So her back assist actually picks up off the ground. So like, let's say you hit him to the ground with something like this. You can combo, and then on this comp uh, specifically, you can like hit him back in the tentacle and get things like this. And then set up install or whatever. Um, I'm not going to go too much into that because I'm meant for this to mainly be like a buy guide, but I mean, it's a team game. But yeah, so her, her back assist is good for that. It can also cover you if you do like a projectile or something and they jump. You can tag her in. And also, you don't even have to have that hit. If it misses, you can still just switch to her and then anti her. That's a really good strategy. Um, and then her other assist is also very solid. So it's just good and neutral. It goes really far, as you can see. And so you can cover this with something. Uh, the way I like to use this when I'm going to allow is if they're, if they're one to get hit by this tentacle right here, I tend to do something like this a lot. And it allows me to get a full screen confirm off of it pretty much. And then you can go into the super and go back into your character if you're using double down. Um, that's kind of how I like to use it. The good thing about it is if like they get over the tentacle, they run and jump at you, you just switch to this, and then either jump and grab them out of the air, or if they're far enough away, you anti them. And let's say they block it, um, let's say they're jumping, they block. You can react and see that, and go into your forward S1, and like, make them like, block more pressure pretty much, you know? Um, one thing I just realized I didn't talk about is she has a command grab. It can be teched, but it's a command grab off of her sway and this is actually really good and can be used in combos as well uh it's just forward s1 into grab and so you can get full combos out of this uh if i wasn't trash and i mean you can do like different things depending on your comp but yeah you get a full combo out of it if you're solo you can just do this you just dash up, down S2, go into super. Does alright damage for a command grab, but the real damage is going to come from like a tag into something. Uh, it's really good though, it's a really good mix up because like they're scared of, uh, like let's say they're blocking, right? And they're scared of this, this, you start making them scared of these kinds of things. And they're just sitting there blocking, you throw it in, it's big damage. And then call in your assist. And then you go into the super, tag into them. And of course this only works with double down. Because you can't really tag off of the super otherwise. But yeah, it gives you like a lot of damage and like opportunities and shit. So yeah, for neutral, um, the way I play it at least, I use my assist a lot. I try and catch like cheap openings with this. And this starts pressure pretty well as well. Because if you like do this and they block it, you can either go to the... you can. First of all, you can do this. You can go to the other side and catch them, like, slipping. And then if they do block that, you can tag. And then, you know, you have options there. Um, you don't have to do that, though. You can do things like that. You can do... Um, you do all kinds of, like, opportunities to open them up off of, like, just neutral interactions. That's kind of what this game is. 
uh, once you get hit, even on block and neutral, you're gonna be put through some pretty fucked up mix-ups. But yeah, so there's that. Um, don't let people jump on you for free. There's certain characters that can be hard to shut down, like Yasuo, but like, majority of people, especially in lower to mid ranks, just spam jump at you, because if they hit you, it's like 70% gone, you know? So make sure you're ready to anti-air, careful for assists and things like that. Um, don't be afraid to throw your own, like, bullshit jump-ins in, just be careful of someone who knows how to anti-air. And then, of course, I mean, you have, like, dash up crouch medium, dash up medium, uh... But a lot of the time, I cover myself with assists. Uh, there's also this. You can do this depending on your character. Uh, this, there are actually characters that will do this way better than the Lowey. You can charge this and then switch to your assist. So if you had like Jinx, for example, she could shoot a rocket and then you charge to her. Or change to her. Um, so yeah, you just charge your S1. And if this hits, it's a big combo. If they block it, you're plus 17. So it's really solid. From here, you can just go into a grab or... Whatever, her regular grab also combos with this. But yeah, so you charge this, throw an assist out, tag, and it leaves you super plus, and if it misses, you're still safe back here. However, if it hits, depending on where you are on the screen, especially, you just get a free combo, right? If you're back here, sometimes it's harder to pick up, but you should still be able to combo. Uh... And then, like I said, if you have an assist back here and you tag to it, it's like you're not going to really be able to get that with the Lowey. But there's characters that will do it better. So normally what I do here with the Lowey is I just set this up and kind of do some zoning kind of thing with her until my assist is back. And then I actually would do like uh, what I was showing before, like this, and try and get her back in there. Because I don't like uh, a Lowey on point. I like having Vi out and using a Lowey to support. So yeah, I guess I'll show you some mix-ups that you can do with, like, my comp specifically. You'll have to figure out, like, like what you can do with yours, but, like, it's kind of self-explanatory once you know, like, the basics. So, obviously, you're going to use a lot of this in your mix-ups. You can do, like, buttons into... Oh, I'm making block. You do, like, buttons into dash through them with an assist. You can use this. So if this hits, you get a full combo out of it. I'll show you how really quick, I guess. Um... You just run up, medium heavy, launcher, whatever. Pretty basic. Um, but yeah, so for like combos, depending on what you're using, because if you're using like freestyle, like let's say I have freestyle here, right? Um, freestyle. You can get a lot more. You can do things like... And then, of course, like go from there. But the basic concept, in my opinion, for like mix-ups with her, you're gonna have two. You're gonna have strike throw, you know, because they're scared of this, or they're scared of this. Oops, scared of this. Uh, so a lot of people are gonna jump back on you when you're playing revive. So you gotta be ready for that. Uh, and then I'll, of course, you have things like this. And so what I just did right there at the end of this. So um, when I did this, the tentacle actually crossed up there. So, you can make the tentacle on the- see how there's a second hit on that assist? You can make the tentacle be the thing that crosses up, and the, the punch doesn't from her. So there's all kinds of things you can do with that. You can go overhead, you can go low, you can go grab. Um, you just kind of have to experiment with your comp. Like that is pretty good, you can end it with a command grab, whatever. So, you have a lot, you just gotta experiment with your comp. With Alawi, that's the kind of stuff I do. Um, you can also do things like, if they would input, you can do things like this. And so what I did there is you can actually tag right before the thing hits and get a cross up. Or if they like got used to you doing that, you could just let it rip and then you're plus as hell anyways. Um, keep in mind with freestyle, you're going to miss out on a lot of damage from double down or like what allow is good with two times assist, things like that. I prefer double down because like the damage you get and the opportunities for like a Lowey stuff. But you have a lot of like ways to mix with Vi in my opinion. Her, her command grab in general is just really good for like making your opponent not want to block and just getting free combos. Because I mean it, it is scary like you get hit by the grab and you're just screwed. You lose your whole health bar. As you can see. <laughs> like this is all for a command grab. It's kind of kind of insane. It's like, what, 60% probably? 
70 percent <laughs> so yeah it's a lot you get two touches in this game for sure so another thing to watch out for when playing her is like when you end your super with this um they can roll through you with things like this and so you can actually punish that if you grab it back rolls and forward rolls in this game are punishable by a grab if you're very quick and so all you gotta do is wait see what they do and then you dash and you grab and then if they if you're waiting and they do wake up attack uh you'll win if they do the roll in like you see you can just dash up and grab um i don't know how to set a wake up attack oh here we go so like right here they're gonna wake up and then you get a free punish right so you, so you just end the super here or whatever you're ending your combo with that leads to a knockdown always be ready for a roll or a wake up attack right and so right there you would just dash up grab and so even if you can't get a combo out of your back throw it still puts them back in the corner to deal with a lot of mix and then if you want you could just forward throw instead like let's say you end the combo with this and they roll through you you just grab them and then you get a full combo and that's big damage of course so make sure you're aware of that stuff you need to be punishing these they're just free combos every time somebody does it and people like to do it a lot backwards like you combo them let's just say you end it with this um well this is in the air i guess i don't know why i would end it with that let's just say you, you do something simple um you do like this keeping it very simple here just to give an example a lot of people are going to go backwards off of this so let me set the bot up back rise and you, as soon as you see that there's free combo right there and then they're dead so yeah make sure you're punishing that but yeah uh, a big part of this game is just like making your character work it's a tag fighter of course so like to get your game started you need to support them so i have a lowey back assist right there i think it's really good for her even just round start doing this is like really strong it makes them it pretty much forces most characters to play around it they have to jump in the start and then i mean if they neutral jump i'll just tag to allow and then anti-air and you have a lot of things but yeah i plan on doing a more advanced guide possibly at a later time uh it's kind of hard i've never made like a guide for a tag fighter before so i'm a little out of my waters here but i think i hope that helped at least uh i hit challenger in the beta and I'm about to hit Challenger again. So once I like grind the game a bit more, I'll probably start uploading content. You can follow me on Twitch as well. I'm probably gonna start streaming soon. I've, stre I've streamed a couple of my tournament runs actually, uh, but you can follow me on HardyMJ underscore on Twitch. So dickhead took HardyMJ. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.